Now most of you guys have seen a comp his video online and most of them are the same shit. Like uh they have like ten or fifteen seconds of them doing wobbly windows, raindrops or the favorite one is the desktop cube, alright? Now I don't know why, why don't you just link it to a existing video already? Okay. So it's almost two thousand nine now and you're still making one of those video you're a fucking idiot, alright? Just get off the internet because you're stupid, alright? <laughs> now with that being said, I'm going to show you Compass features that's actually productive and you probably use it every day if you know this, okay? Now the first one is, uh, let's say you have a lot of windows here and you just want to see your desktop. Now you can use your keyboard keys but that is uh, takes time, you know? What I recommend is just uh, screen corners which you see my mouse here if I go to this corner it'll just clean all the windows out see each one go into each corner so I dig that so you can access whatever is on your desktop like let's say this file here you can see it now you can click on it so I dig that now if you want to bring it back just do the same thing in this corner here and it's back so that's um, one that I like the next one is um, scaling or uh, expose um, this one is, you can go in this corner where I have it to activate it see I go like this and I see all my open programs that's running now I can preview it bigger if I, if I can't see really well like what is that you know screen is about I can like um, right click on it right click on this you see it gets bigger right click on it and you can pre see a bigger preview right now if I want to close um, the program off, right, all I got to do is uh, middle click on something. Let's say this movie here, up top, and I click on the middle button, and it's gone. And I have the rest of the windows that's open. And if I want to go to that window, I just got to do is uh, left click on it, and I go to that program that's open. So I dig that too. The next one is the expo or spaces and I have it in the bottom corner to activate it here and you see I have uh, different spaces for d different stuff this is mainly due to uh, you want games on this one then you can do that now to do this all you do is right click on whatever um, virtual desktop you want like let's say this one so you right click so this is good for managing um, different stuff like games documents on different virtual desktop and this next one is uh, the focus window, the dodge feature. I don't know why, but this is actually useful to me. Let's say you want this this window right here to be focused, so you click on it, and it does this little animation that's actually useful to me. Uh, in my mind, it does. Let's say I click on this, see that those two go in the back, and it just helps me with my brain to see that this one is in the front now. So I dig that too. You know what I'm saying? And uh, virtual spaces is probably the, the most useful one. You can have a lot of space, you know. I have four now. So those are the features that I like, right? Now, if you want to activate these, um, all you got to do is have Compiz Advanced Manager and Compiz on. And the first one is the Dodge feature. Uh, you got to go to your animations, right? and in here you go to the focus animation and make sure that is set to dodge here so you set to dodge so that's how you do that one and then click back the next one we're going to do the expo or spaces this one so you click on that now right here where it says expo edge right this is where you, the screen corners are where you activate it to so to the right of it you see this one you click on it and you choose whatever the red spot is wherever you want to, to trigger it so mine being the lower right corner I just make it green and that's how you do it for that now let's go back here the next one will be scale or expose this one scale right click on it and in here you have to go to the initiate window picker for all windows and you see that the the monitor icon that's the one you want over here you 
click on this and you have this window and you do the same thing but you want a different place because you don't have the same place as um, expo or spaces and I chose it up here so that's how I have it now the next one is let's see a show desktop show desktop here now it's, this is kinda different when you click on this right in here you only have um, the feet on um, the options to say where it's gonna go where the windows gonna go like mine is set to, to corners right so when I do the effect it goes to the corners only but I don't have the screen options here the screen option is actually somewhere else so I gotta go back and go to a general right in general we go to uh, general options and in general options you actually see the show desktop now see show desktop and to the right of it you see you click on this button and you choose a, a new place for it that's all you gotta do so those are where you find those stuff and the last one being is uh, the virtual desktop right virtual desktop uh, you go to the desktop size here and you see I have four right but uh, if you want more um, let's say a 4x4 four four, so that's 16 right so as you see I can have 16 spaces or more if you want it doesn't really matter so those are the features that I like um, and it's actually useful and you use it every day now there's a bug when you um, let's say you minimize this um, program scaling feature it's not gonna show that because you minimize it so that's a bug and they haven't fixed it yet but um, if you, I would I would recommend is uh, don't minimize anything you know just uh, leave it all open and use a uh, expo to have different spaces for it so you don't really need a reason to uh, close it or minimize it um, and you know just use a uh, scaling to trigger all your programs so that's just um, my tip for that. I mean, there is a script to uh, unminimize it, but I tried that script and it's buggy as hell. So I don't really recommend it. You know, if I don't recommend it and I don't use it, you won't probably you won't want to use it either. So, but if you want to try that, it's actually online. Search for it, and you'll find it. Okay. So that's all the features that I like that you use probably every day, not the fucking cube shit where you're spinning it. That's just retarded, right? So it's almost 2009. If you're still doing that, go kill yourself, alright? <laughs> so that's all I got for this one.